Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday 22nd to the 28th of May 2023. Got knows already, straight into it. <laughs> These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. You can feel it here from my fringe. I think that's what's tickling my nose. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> right, Scorpio. So 22nd to the 28th of May, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please. For Scorpio. That wanted to fly out right there. Prince of Swords. Slow down. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> Overall, the High Priestess, quite content to sit back and watch what's going on around you without being too overwhelmed by everything all at once. The guard may be up a bit, but um, this is more about being observant and not letting too much get on top of you. Past energies, you had the Prince of Swords, Prince of Cups, Six of Pentacles. There's been love here in the past that has been very equal give and take um, when you weren't rushing into things in the past. This talked about slowing down, thinking things through logically, taking action here, but making sure that things remained equal give and take. Present energies, you've got the Nine of Wands, the Moon, Prince of Pentacles. May have connection to a Pisces here, core of your reading. Hidden fears, um, you've overcome all these obstacles, all these hurdles, you've dodged a lot of bullets here. Maybe a bit battle scarred, a bit battle weary, I usually say. It's taken a long time to get through all of these obstacles. But again, this moon is giving you the clarity to now see there's nothing holding you back. Love that. Future energies, Princess of Cups, Six of Cups, the star. Possibly a reconciliation here when it comes to love for some of you. This is talking about a past, but it's also talking about an offer of love. Somebody may be coming back, wanting to get back together with you. Now, some of you might be like, hell no, that's never going to happen. Others of you, this may be fond memories, not so fond memories, but the focus here is the star. May have connection to an Aquarius, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. Possibly you know what you want, who you want, where you want to be, but possibly are who you want around this love. And whether that involves someone from the past, whether it involves a hell no from the past, we will clarify everything here. But overall, Scorpio, you have the High Priestess. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. A lot of hard work, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, um, and trying to find ways around things. I always say legally and morally, but ultimately that love and emotional happiness, it is there for the taking, but it may mean taking a slight detour. Still having the end goal in sight, but a detour may be needed, and it's being aware of what's happening around you and what's going on around you but also to see what some of these detours may bring. So Scorpio, past energies, Prince of Swords, Two of Wands, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Again, this focus on where you're heading, knowing you've got to keep moving towards your goals and your dreams, putting some solid plans into place, but in the past not wanting everybody to know what those plans were at that stage, it kind of tended to slow everything down a bit, where it's talking about Prince of Swords is saying, slow down, think things through carefully, taking action that way. This Knight of Pentacles is just confirming that things were moving pretty slowly there in the past. Possibly around this love, Prince of Cups. Confident the two of you make a good team now. Prince of Cups with the Sofa. The Fool, the Chariot, love it, Queen of Pentacles. And ready to take a leap of faith with somebody here when it comes to love. 
balancing the chariot out may have connection to a cancer but getting things moving in a forward direction you're talking about balance next with the six of pentacles so making sure you're not going round and round in circles here proud of your achievements and how far you have come but somebody here is ready to take a leap of faith and get things moving in a forward direction and in a balanced way as we come to the six of pentacles Yet the hanged man, five of wands, ace of swords. You maybe have been left waiting in the past. It caused a bit of drama, a bit of conflict, um, maybe even jealousy involved here. A lot of crap that needed to be cleared out in order for this fresh new start to begin. But um, it just felt like you were left sitting on the fence, waiting for someone else to make their mind up. It may also be that this is the moment to make your own decision here to cut yourself free from that hangman energy and to make a decision to go for this whole brand new chapter this brand new beginning with the ace of swords there too so present energy scorpio nine of wands two of swords the world knight of wands determination to see this through taking the ups with the downs divine timing things happen for a reason we don't always know the reason why at that moment but I always say years down the track it might be that aha moment that's like oh yes remember when and this is about being able to make a clear decision here that two of swords we've just come off the hangman as well um, no more confusion over which direction to take that world has your back and you have that determination to see this through the moon in the core of your reading giving you that extra clarity love this oh those six of cups ten of pentacles four of swords still coming to do deal with this past needing to deep do some healing around this past um, everybody needs to do healing at some stage um, it's a big deal to say I need some space just give me some time here but ultimately again this moon's giving you that clarity with that healing time to see what worked in the past and what didn't work in the past and hopefully not going through those repeat patterns that way because there is ultimate happiness success around home and family life things that are starting to fall into place and letting that moon give you that clarity as well as um, clarity around what held you back in the past so prince of pentacles been a long time coming scorpio judgment ten of wands eight of cups but it does end this burden of feeling like you're doing this journey on your own there is a connection here of some sort with someone keep an open mind don't judge others don't let others judge you either though but there is also some sort of emotional detachment and this may be this burden of feeling like you're doing this on your own and this is now taking its time to heal from being able to finally detach emotionally from something or someone that has been holding you back keep an open mind around that judgment so into your future energy scorpio princess of cups king of wands the sun the emperor i have connection to an aries here total control of the situation the warm fuzzy feelings around the sufferer of love with the sun as well happiness joy everything that is falling into place as i said the warm fuzzy feelings that come with the sun and the, and love here with the princess of cups but you're in control of the situation very brave very confident very logical you know what you want who you want where you want to be you may be offering love to someone they may be offering love to you but ultimately make the most of those warm fuzzy feelings right there whether this is someone from the past whether this is a hell no and um, somebody completely different completely new six of cups here scorpio 
Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands. Regardless, stability, commitment, maybe a marriage proposal, moving in together, even meeting somebody brand new, but making sure that it is equal give and take. If you do all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking, and that is not balancing things out. This Ace of Wands, a, it could be a grudge that you're holding, waiting for an apology from someone, especially clarifying the Six of Cups about the past that we mentioned before. Others of you, whole fresh new start, whole fresh new beginning, whole new focus for this new chapter. I'm going to say it together. And you finish with the Star Scorpio. Love this. Letting your dreams come to life. The Devil, Seven of Cups, Princess of Swords. And again, this is about not taking these repeat patterns. So as I said, this may be a past that's like a hell no, not going back there. And this is about, everybody does do repeat patterns, the first one that looks good. And it's now about breaking free from those negative patterns, those toxic, that toxic energy there. May have connection to a Capricorn or Aquarius, but this is about breaking free from that energy, from that past and looking at your other options here. Bring it on. You are ready for this new journey to begin. You are ready for your dreams to come to life. And you are ready to break free from that negative past. It'll feel like it's now come around to there. But we will see what the universe says, Scorpio. It flew out. Six of Swords. Prince of Wands, King of Cups. Being in control of your emotions, especially when you are putting plans into place that you're not wanting every single Tom, Dick and Harry to know about. You've got that determination to stay on board, taking the ups with the downs, being in control of your emotions and those plans that are being put into place. Things are moving forward towards making these dreams a reality. Love that. So Scorpio, let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. I love this picture too. Take a leap of faith. Set your own course. Brilliant. Love that. Okay. So read that. A growing sense of unrest spurs you to make changes. Some habits, relationships or environments no longer feel right. Be brave. Be optimistic. Take a leap of faith. It is okay to want something new and to set your own course. When the right opportunity arises, take action. You have waited long enough. Honour yourself. Go for it. And this may be releasing this negative past and going for this whole brand new chapter, making these dreams come to life. Love it. So Scorpio, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.